All right, well, welcome back to our second session, everybody. I'm very happy to introduce our next speaker, Professor Gennady Lubeznik from the University of Minnesota. He has been a longtime contributor to commutative algebra uh, in many, many deep and fascinating ways. And he is going to talk about uh, R plus as a big cone Macaulay algebra and characteristic T. So please, you have the floor. Thank you. I would like to thank the organizers for the invitation to, to speak. Um, well, let me start. All right. So I am going to talk about the fact that in characteristic P, R plus <coughs> is quite Macaulay. Let me fix the notation. So let R be a commutative. Materian. domain. Um, now, K is the fraction field of R and R plus the absolute integral closure. of R is the integral closure of R in bar. And that is the algebraic closure of K. Uh, all right, now Hoxter and Unicke proved a celebrated result in 1992. So the result says that if R is excellent, um, my pen refuses to work. Just a minute. Let's see if I can fix it. I apologize. If R is excellent, no, still doesn't work. Um, just a minute. You can stop sharing and share once again. Just a minute. I, uh, well, if this goes on, no, it doesn't work. I don't know what to do. Um, this is very unfortunate. Let's see. Um, oh, now it started again. Um, so if R is X, so no, here it refuses to work on this page. Here it works, here it works, but here it I have no idea what is going on. Very strange. All right, let me try to 
do it on a different page. So here. Um, F F R is excellent. Um, and the characteristic of the uh, the fraction field is P. Uh, then R plus is Cohen Macaulay. So what does it mean that it's going to Macaulay? That is every system of parameters is a regular system. On R plus. So uh, since many of the listeners are graduate students, I understand. I need to explain everything. So let me recall what an SOP is and what a regular uh, sequence is. So uh, if B is the dimension of R, then a sequence of D elements x1 through xd in R is a system of parameters. Uh, if and only if the dimension of R modulo the ideal they generate is equal to zero. That's number one. And number two, I just can't believe this. When I get to this part of the page, it doesn't write. Very, very strange. It never happened before. Huh. So, um, I, I, very, this is very new to me. I don't know what to do. Uh, all right. I think I need to erase, I need to finish this on this page. So I need to erase uh, th this uh, thing and continue. I apologize, uh, very strange. So uh, X1, XD, is a regular sequence. On um, an R module M. If um, X I multiplication by X I, if multiplication by xi on m modulo x1 through xi minus 1. m is injective. So uh, the statement of the result of Hofstra and Unique that I need, I had to erase, unfortunately, because I have a problem with the iPad, which is very surprising to me, by the way. So the statement is that if R is a local commutative Noetherian excellent ring, then R plus has the property that it is coin Macaulay, a coin. Macaulay R module and coin Macaulay means that every system of parameters is a regular sequence on R plus on the module. So that's the statement. Now, why is this result important? 
important because if the existence of a coin Macaulay module over a ring implies that the ring has many nice properties. And uh, the statement of the hofster hunicke result is that every domain, uh, every local domain, as long as it is excellent, uh, has such a coin Macaulay module. And moreover, it is fairly simple and easy to understand. It's R plus. The integral closure of the ring inside the, the algebraic closure of uh, uh, the fraction field. Uh, unfortunately, the bottom part of every page seems to be unusable. It's very strange. So, so the proof, the original proof was quite long and complicated. Uh, however, in the year 2007, Hunick and Lubeznik published a fairly short proof um, of a very similar result, not exactly the same, so, but a very similar result. So they published a considerably shorter proof. Uh, the entire paper is uh, only six pages long. The entire paper. And if uh, you consider that uh, uh, the introduction and the list of references take up about two pages, then the proof itself only takes four pages. So I would recommend to the young people who are listening to read the paper because it's a very short paper and uh, with really a minimum of effort, you can get a lot of understanding of uh, how uh, local cohomology works for proving a major result because it is a major result. The fact that our plus is going to So uh, let me, I, since I have a problem with using the bottom of the page, I don't know if I can fit this into a single page, but we'll see. So uh, if, let me state the main result of the Hunicke Lubeznik paper. So if uh, R prime is an R algebra, and R double prime is an R prime algebra, then uh, the map, the inclusion, or the map R prime to R double prime induces a map on local cohomology. So the map is from HI sub M of R prime to HI sub M of R double prime. Now, what is M where uh, M is the maximal ideal? So here I am assuming that uh, this is it. it, would not allow me to write, very strange. Um, how about, no. Uh, I don't know what to say. 
So, uh, so the inclusion or the uh, the map of our algebras, or or more generally, a map of our modules induces a map on local cohomology with support in any ideal, of course, but in particular with support in the maximal ideal of R, if you assume that R is a local ring. All right, so now I need to go to a new page because of this very peculiar problem. So th theorem, Unikid uh, Desnik, 2007. Um, assume that characteristic of the fraction field is P and R and R is a surjective image of a Gorenstein Um, local ring A. So let our prime be an R sub algebra of K bar. Now, K bar is, I hope you remember, it's the algebraic closure of the fraction field K of R. So in other words, R um, sits inside R prime and R prime sits inside K bar. So R prime is an R sub algebra of K bar finite as an R module over R. Uh, let um, I smaller than the dimension of R be an integer. Then uh, there is, so there is a uh, an R prime subalgebra. R double prime of K bar. That is, um, R prime sits inside R double prime, and this sits inside K bar, so that the inclusion of R prime into R double prime induces the, the map. So, so that's the map HI sub M of R prime to H I sub M of R double prime is zero, right? Uh, the paper, yes, sir. Oh, there is uh, something in the chat. All right, so this must be about uh, the paper. All right. So the statement is that if you have a, a finite extension of R inside the algebraic closure of the fraction field, then there is a bigger finite extension of that R prime with the property that all intermediate local cohomology with support on the maximal ideal vanish as you go to R double prime. That's under the assumption that R is a local ring, a local domain. The characteristic of uh, the fraction field is P and uh, R is a surjective image of a Gorenstein local ring. So, you can see that here, the assumption on the ring R is slightly different than in the result of Hoxter-Hunicke. Hoxter-Hunicke assumed that 
in their result. Assume that the uh, characteristic was P, R was local, and it was local commutative Noetherian, of course, and it was excellent. So here, the assumption that R is excellent is uh, replaced by the assumption that R is a surjective image of a, a Gorenstein local ring. And the two assumptions are not equivalent. So strictly speaking, uh, these are two different theorems because they are proven under two different assumptions. However, um, let's see, it still allows me to write thumb. Oh, no, this is it. I can't write it anymore. All right, so, so but, um, just a minute. So in 2016, a Vietnamese mathematician, Pham Huan Kui, in 2016, proved the same thing under the assumption is R double prime finitely generated? So that's the question. Well, let's see. I thought I, uh, um, as an R algebra. All right. Uh, and there is an R prime subalgebra. Yeah, I, I didn't uh, say it here. I should have said that uh, R double prime R double prime is not only finitely generated as an R subalgebra, it is a finite extension of R. So both R prime and R double prime are finite extensions of R, all right? So that's the statement. Unfortunately, it still does not allow me to write uh, below the line. I have, this is very, very strange. I don't know what to tell you why this is happening. Uh, okay, so, um, so Pham Huang Kui proved uh, that the same is true, same holds under the assumption that um, R is a surjective image of a coin Macaulay ring. So, and it was known, it was known that uh, every excellent Ring, every excellent commutative Noetherian and so on is a subjective image of a local, so every excellent local, um, I'm omitting uh, everything else, local commutative Noetherian and so on. A uh, ring is a surjective image of a local coin Macaulay ring. Local coin Macaulay commutative Ethereum and so on. So therefore, the result of Pham Huang Kui proves or unites the two theorems, the hofstra hunicke theorem and the hunicke lebesnik theorem in one result. The proof follows uh, the lines of the paper by hunicke lebesnik and it provides therefore a much simpler proof of the original result of 
a poster here. Okay. All right. So now let's go back to the statement of the Hunicke Lubeznik result. And what does it mean about R plus? All right. So it says here that a certain local cohomology vanishes uh, in the image, the paper by what? There is a chat. The paper by Cui is the following. Okay. So is R double prime independent of, just a minute. Is R double prime independent of the I? Uh, I think here is that there is an R prime, so that uh, is equal to zero. Uh, this map is equal to zero for every I smaller than the dimension of R. For every I smaller than the dimension of R. But even if I didn't say it, yeah, but if you have uh, finitely many R double primes, then you can take the composite that is the smallest subalgebra sub that contains all of them. And it will be the subalgebra in which uh, local cohomology in every dimension, in, in every degree smaller than the dimension uh, vanishes. All right, so you can certainly make R double prime independent of i as long as i is smaller than the dimension. And there will be many r double primes, right? So now the question is, uh, what does this have to do with r plus? r plus is not mentioned in the theorem. So what does the theorem have to do with r plus? So here is a corollary of the theorem H I sub M um, sub M of R plus is equal to zero for all I smaller than dimension of R. All right. So why is this? Here is a proof. Well, R plus is the limit over all R primes that are finite extensions of R inside the algebraic closure K bar of K, right? And therefore, local cohomology commutes with uh, direct limits. So H I sub M of R plus is the direct limit of H I sub M of R prime. And our prime, like I said, runs over all finite extensions of R that sits in, sit inside K bar. Now the theorem says that for every such R prime, there is another R prime that is a finite extension of R and sits inside K bar so that the image of the local cohomology module in that of this R prime in that other R double prime is zero. So this, the, therefore every local cohomology module of every R prime in this limit is equal to zero. So that's a consequence of the theorem. Therefore uh, HI sub M of R plus is equal to zero for all I smaller than the dimension of R. And this uh, looks like something that everybody knows is equivalent to 
the property that a module is coin Macaulay. And it is indeed equivalent under the assumption that the module is finitely generated as an R module. Here, uh, there is no such assumption. R plus is not finitely generated. So yet, uh, it is still true that if uh, uh, the local cohomology of a module vanishes in degrees strictly smaller than the dimension of R, I should say, if the local cohomology modules of R plus vanish in degrees strictly smaller than the dimension of R, then R plus is quite Macaulay. So let me recall what quite Macaulay means Quite Macaulay is defined in terms of um, uh, so in terms of uh, sequences, right? Um, so um, where did I state the? No, I think I stated it. No. Um, I think I didn't state the theorem of hoxter hunicke So the theorem of uh, hoxter hunicke says that if R is an excellent uh, uh, local commutative Noetherian ring, then um, the um, R plus is quite Macaulay in the sense that every um, in the sense that every um, gosh in the sense that every um, uh, system of parameters is a regular system it, it is a regular sequence all right uh sorry um so how are you gonna show that the vanishing of local cohomology below the dimension of the ring implies that every system of parameters is a regular sequence so here is another corollary this is something I can prove. Um, H, uh, every system of, oh no, no, it still works in this part of the screen. Every system of para parameters of R is a regular, sequence on R plus. Here is a proof. Um, so let, um, so the corollary basically says that uh, R plus is a coin Macaulay R algebra. So let X one and so on through X D be a system of parameters. So D is the dimension of um, so we are gonna we will prove by induction on J. that x1 through xj is a regular sequence on R plus. So uh, if j is equal to one, we are 
them since R is a domain and therefore multiplication by X one on R plus is injective. So we assume uh, J is bigger than one. Um, so, and X one through X J minus one is a regular sequence. Plus. Um, um, so we set I T equal to X one through X T for all t smaller than j my what did i do for all t all right here is where it refuses to work so i need to continue here um so for t so i t is uh, x1 through x t for t smaller than or equal to j minus one. Uh, so there is a short exact sequence. The short exact sequence zero to r plus modulo i t minus one r plus to uh, R plus modulo I T minus one R plus to R plus modulo I T R plus to zero. Here is multiplication by X T, all right? Here, multiplication by X T. So, this induces or produces a long exact sequence of uh, local cohomology modules with support in M. Right. Uh, now, we know that H I sub M of R plus is equal to zero for um, I smaller than the dimension. Um, so uh, hence this uh, long exact sequence implies by induction on T That H T, sorry, H I sub M of R plus uh, H cash H Q. Sub M of R plus modulo X one X T uh, R plus is equal to zero for Q smaller than T e minus T. So hence um, uh, H naught sub M of R plus modulo X one X T plus um, is equal to zero for so since U uh, since zero is smaller than D minus J minus one. 
So hence, oh gosh, I uh, cannot write on this page. This is very, very annoying. Uh, hence M. So hence, hence M. Uh, maximal ideal is not um, an associated prime of um, R plus modulo x1 through xj minus 1 plus. And this implies that uh, the only associated primes of R plus modulo X1 through X J minus one R plus are the minimal of primes of, uh, uh, hence the only associated primes. Um, R plus modulo x1 through xj minus 1 plus are the minimal primes of R modulo x1 xj minus 1 R. Because if there is an embedded prime P that is associated to R plus modulo X1 through XJ minus one R plus, then you can localize at that P and you will have a ring whose dimension is uh, bigger than, strictly bigger than J minus one. And the maximal ideal of that ring would be associated to uh, R plus modulo X one through X J minus one R plus. And that's not possible as I have just shown. So this uh, shows that, like I said, the only associated primes of R plus modulo X one through X J minus one R plus are the minimal primes of the ideal X one through X J minus one and since, uh, so since uh, X J is not in any of the minimal primes, uh, it is regular on uh, R plus doesn't allow me to write. It's regular on R plus modulo X1 through X J minus one R plus. All right, so this shows that uh, X1 through X D is <coughs> a regular sequence on R plus. So this means that the main result of the unicular Besley paper indeed shows that our plus is square Macaulay. Now, what about the proof of the main result? Uh, the proof of the main result uses the following facts. Um, the proof um, of, so the proof of, main result of Unicular Besnik uses the following. The main result of the Unicular Besnik paper is what I stated in the beginning that for every finite extension R prime of R, there is a bigger extension of R still finite as an R module so that the maps on the local cohomology modules are all zero. 
assume, assuming that the degrees of those local cohomology modules are smaller than the dimension. So it uses the following two facts. Number one, the Frobenius section um, on local cohomology. So R prime to R prime. Um, R prime to R prime and the map says every element to the pth power induces an action F over star on local cohomology modules. And this is called the Frobenius section on uh, local cohomology, right? And this exists only in uh, characteristic P. In characteristic zero, it's unavailable. And secondly, the local duality. It says the following. If M is a finitely generated um, R module, then X and minus I A of M A R is isomorphic to H I sub M of M. So A, now keep in mind that A is the, the Gorenstein ring. That surjects onto R. And N I no longer can write. And N, little n, is the dimension of A. Uh, this was mentioned in the statement of uh, the result of uh, Unikili Besnik in the beginning that. The, the, the hypothesis on the ring R is that it's a surjective image of a Gorenstein local ring A. Um, now the star, so the star over here is the Matlis dual of this X module. So uh, my time is almost up. I cannot say anything about anything more about the proof. But like I said, the proof itself is fairly short. The paper is only six pages long and the proof itself is only four pages. And with everything that I have said in the talk, the, the proof of the remaining things are only three pages long. So I would strongly urge, especially younger people who are interested in seeing how local cohomology is used in the proofs of major results to read the paper because for a minimum effort, it's a fairly, it's a very short proof, only three pages, and you'll get uh, a substantial result, an understanding of a substantial result in commutative algebra. Now, in the last two minutes, I'd like to mention an amazing, an absolutely amazing, very recent development uh, by, Vargov He is an Indian mathematician who lives in America, a brilliant Indian mathematician, I should say. And he, uh, some question in the chat, can any R prime be coined Macaulay? Can any R prime be coined Macaulay? Uh, well, in principle, I don't see why not, but I doubt it because if there was 
if there was a Cohen Macaulay finitely generated extension, a finite extension of R, then it would make the Cohen Macaulay ness of R of R plus unnecessary. So even if it exists, it would be a rare case. In most cases, for most rings R, uh, there wouldn't be a finite extension that is going to be called. So Bargov proved the following. Uh, let R be a domain local and blah, 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 commutative, Ethereum, excellent, and so on, uh, of, of mixed characteristic and residual characteristic. Then the piadic completion of R plus is coin Macaulay. This is an absolutely amazing result that completes decades of work in this area. Uh, the proof is not at all simple. It uses major machinery developed by Bat and uh, Scholze, uh, prismatic cohomology it's called. And the idea of the proof, as he writes in the paper, is suggested by our paper with uh, Hunekin. So if you plan on ever reading his paper, I would suggest that you start with reading a very short paper of ours, Hunekin Lubeznik, which uh, I should repeat. Once again, is only six pages long, and uh, that's all. Uh, thank you, everybody, for um, listening. Um, are there thank you, Gennady. Are there any questions? Uh, or comments. If if not, let's all thank uh, Professor Lubesnik for an excellent talk, uh, an amazing result.